very serious, almost tragic day here today. We had two attempts on elected officials or at least high ranking members of the federal government. We had attempts on their life today. Okay, and the first one we actually got video footage of a thwarted attempt of some stairs trying to take out the president again. But at least he could see this one coming because it seems like in the little speech he gave before his uh, a treacherous trek up those same fucking stairs he's walked up like what hundreds of fucking times at this point but yeah no this time once again he made a little ironic statement before if he had any sort of comedic timing in his body if it wasn't just for you know his uh, natural gaffes but if he had any comedic timing he would have purposefully dropped this little line in here before he took a little tumble but let's take a look at the video here because it's it's just too funny sometimes i think the voters sent a clear message last night both parties have to step up and do something about crime as well as gun violence. And I said, as you recall, with the first major bill we passed, we gave the states and localities billions of dollars. Remember, he said both parties need to step up. Okay. Billions of dollars to have and encourage them to use it to hire police officers and reform the police department. Very few have done it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there. Oh, oh, that one again. Oh, hey, catch you this time. <laughs> oh, let's see if he makes it all the way to the top, though. Oh, he's grabbing a hold of that fucking guardrail because that's what he needs. That's oh, fucking embarrassing, isn't it? God, whatever billions of dollars he was talking about should have saved some of that and then had them install an escalator for Air Force One to get up there because Christ almighty, you're going to be there for... At least a couple more months at this point, so you might as well fucking make sure that you don't crack a hip, you old fucking fossil. But like I said, two attempts on elected officials. I, I know, Kavanaugh's not elected. Well, to be fair, in the most technical sense, he did have to get enough votes in the Senate, but he is a member of the federal government in the broadest sense that there is. Uh, an actual attempt on his life, okay, was made. And this shit ain't funny. Okay, we got the vote coming down for Roe v. Wade here on Monday. I got another video popping up over the weekend, I think. I forget when I cut that. But anyways, yeah, no. That one will be coming up here shortly. Because, oh boy, they're going into overdrive. And for me, I think that's when we're going to be kicking off the 2022 Summer of Love. Because, you know, because how popular the Democrats are right now. They're going to have to try to spin it somehow where they're uh, going to try to capitalize on chaos. So, more on that, I think Sunday. I think Sunday, but... Yeah, man, as the vote, okay, in the Supreme Court when it comes to overturning Roe v. Wade for the Mississippi abortion ban, I forget exactly which lawsuit it is that's before them and from the leaked opinion, okay, which essentially overturns Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey. That gets rid of both of those, and then abortion rights end up going back to the states. So, again, it's not an abortion ban or anything like that. And okay, cool, if you have to drive a couple more fucking miles in order to get the old Hoover treatment, okay, that sucks, but there were many other precautions that you should have taken before that part, eh, but whatever, okay. But all the disinformation, misinformation, outright fucking lying and propagandization that infects the modern mind of young men and women out there, led to somebody taking a gun and with the expressed consent of offing Brett Kavanaugh, who is uh, expected, okay, to be a part of the 5-4 split decision when it comes to overturning those two old pieces of legislation. Okay, so I guess by showing up with a gun, you're going to intimidate him, uh, intimidate Kavanaugh into switching his vote and therefore setting a precedent that if you just don't like anything that comes out from the supreme court you can go ahead and influence them by just showing up and uh, waving around a gun i don't think that's gonna work and uh, at least he was thwarted like those pesky steps for old uncle joe an armed california ma an armed california man all the fucking supreme court justices live in virginia for fuck's sakes so this guy's taking the trek so i guess he's probably going to be a part of the protests that are going to be happening next week like i said they're importing stuff because summer of love 2022 is going to get kicked off anyways he was incensed about the leaked supreme court draft opinion again who who leaked that by the way i thought the fbi was supposed to be on this investigation i thought we were supposed to get answers to this yeah exactly that's just been memory hold thanks to the fbi just just like uh, who exactly and what exactly were the motives of the Las Vegas shooter? You remember that one? Yeah, no, no, don't don't try to don't try to think too much about it. Or Hunter Biden's laptop. Yeah, no, don't worry about any of that stuff. We'll get to it when we get to it. 
Um, but yeah, leaked your draft opinion, expected to overturn Roe v. Wade, was arrested near Justice Brett Kavanaugh's Maryland home Wednesday. Oh, I said Virginia, Maryland, it's the same fucking day. stones throw away from one another, okay? After he hatched a plan to kill the jurist to give his life purpose, prosecutors said. Yeah, no, this was all, like, written down and documented, by the way. Uh, Nicholas John Roski, 26, was arrested by the Montgomery County Police Department at around 1.50 in the morning near Kavanaugh home in Chevy Chase. Wait, what? <laughs> he lives in Chevy Chase? Wait, I think uh, he might have a problem with that. And was uh, charged later Wednesday in a Maryland federal court because he was crossing state lines. Uh, that's a man act. Uh, with attempting to kill or kidnap a U.S. judge. Is that the official charge? Okay, well, I think that seems a little specific and cumbersome. A Rusky, who is dressed in black clothing and carrying a backpack and a suitcase. <laughs> Why did you need so much shit? Okay, couldn't you just got a holster, you fucking sped? I uh, was spotted getting out of a cab. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, sir, why are you all dressed in black and why do you got a uh, backpack and why do you seem like you're completely off your rocker? Right, just draw me a couple of clo- Just did a couple of blocks away from Kavanaugh's house. I've got some planning to do. Oh, fucking weirdo. But yes, he was spotted in front of Kavanaugh's home at around 1.05 a.m. by 2 a deputy U.S. Marshals who were stationed outside the residence, court paper state. Well, uh, he saw the Marshals uh, who were standing next to the parked vehicle in the Tony Washington, D.C. suburb. Is that is that supposed to be tiny? I'm gonna need a copy editor here. Uh, he walked down the block and called 911 and told an operator that he was having suicidal thoughts. I'm sure. Okay, had a firearm on him and wanted to kill Kavanaugh. Again, leftism is a mental disorder. Uh, cops from Montgomery Police Department were dispatched to the area, and when they arrived, Roski was still on the phone with the emergency operator, according to court records. Uh, he was taken into custody and when investigators searched his suitcase and backpack oh they found a small arsenal including a tactical police vest why wasn't he wearing that a tactical knife okay pepper spray zip ties and a glock 17 pistol two magazines and ammunition Christ, he was better equipped than literally anybody else who turned up at uh, the Capitol riots on January 6th. But again, with all of that stuff in his possession and having somewhat of a plan hatched out, do you really think that gun control is the problem? Or do we really think that maybe we should be taking a look at mental health and the fact that it's affecting so many people and influencing influencing their poor decisions? I think you want to address that maybe a little bit more uh, directly because that would save a lot of people's life and improve a lot of quality quality of life that's out there just saying not really connected or anything like that but you get these sick individuals okay wanting to do terrible things sometimes okay breaking through the different barriers in society in order to carry out their plans but you still have a bunch of fucking sick people that are out there but you don't care about, you don't care about that stuff right talking about the federal government talking about government at large right they just want simple answers to complex problems just get rid of all the guns and we wouldn't have any more shootings yeah oh well, yeah just outlaw law or outlaw murder and nobody will die anymore fuck off they also found a host of burglary tools including a hammer and a screwdriver wait i got a whole bunch of hammers and a whole bunch of screwdrivers does that mean i'm gonna be committing any burglaries soon a nail punch a crowbar a pistol light duct tape and a pair of hiking boots oh yes right you, you need that for burglary because um all burglars wear hiking boots it's normally just tims anyways uh, uh with padding on the outside of the soles among other items what does that even mean? <laughs> During an interview with an FBI agent, Roski allegedly said he was upset about the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion and expected to overturn Roe v. Wade. Why? Is he going to get an abortion? No, I don't really think so. Uh, well, where he's going, much of the same activities that uh, lead to the creation of a child could be done to him, but he won't actually get impregnated by it. Just saying, and uh, guessing by the, the looks of him and the old fucking what's not between the ears up there, I don't think he's knocking anybody up, so what the fuck does he care? During an interview with an FBI agent, oh yes, uh, leak, uh, upset about the leaked draft opinion and the school shooting in Uvalde, so he wanted to commit another shooting? I don't think that really makes sense. Um, all right. Just sounds like this guy was uh, reading a little bit too much online um, propaganda, and probably if you take a look at some of the social media, which I don't have first-hand information of, but I'm just making an informed guess. He probably supports current thing, hashtag whatever is in the headlines right now. He believed Kavanaugh would loosen gun control laws. When has he ever indicated that? I just want to know about that one. 
and hatched a plan to kill the justice after finding his address online in an ill-fated bid to give his life purpose. He also should have looked and seen that uh, there's increased security around justice's homes and has been for the better part of a month. Uh, he bought a Glock and other items. How did he buy that in California? I'm just saying. What about waiting periods? What about gun control laws? Oh, okay, again, let's just try to piece, piece all of this fucking nonsense together. He was worried about loosened gun control laws, potentially by Kavanaugh. But he was still able, this very stable genius, okay, was still able to purchase a Glock. What are we doing here, okay? Is he, oh, is he trying to create... Is he part of a false flag operation in order to justify further encroachment on the second amendment um, maybe this kid's playing 4d chess and we don't even know it bought the glock and other items for the purpose of breaking into the justice's residence and killing the justice as well as himself oh that's why he had so much ammunition oh, okay it wasn't immediately clear if roski had retained an attorney and relatives couldn't immediately be reached for comment well if he was just trying to give his life purpose oh, he got his name in a new york post article and a couple of other ones that are making the circuit right now so i guess he kind of sort of gave his life purpose in a statement white house spokesperson andrew bates said president biden uh condemns stares and how dangerous they are to his presidency oh the actions of an individual in the strongest terms sure you do there joe and that he's grateful law enforcement off or yeah enforcement for quickly apprehending the suspect and honestly you should get rid of these fucking weirdos that are picketing outside because none of them even come close to looking stable like take a look at the fucking look on this bitch's eyes see if i can um crease that a bit so i can scare everybody else you can see it there's just a vacant look behind those eyes and she just uses that bullhorn to just scream whatever is being talked about over and over and over again repeat the same talking points you've got your npc upload for june of 2022 we uh, abortion rights are human rights keep your hands off our body brett kavanaugh is a liar look at the caricature of the poster behind us we need act bands off our bodies bands off our bodies and then you got nana in front there it's like if you want to do a back alley abortion it's a wire coat hanger so you can just really mold it and get it up there or just a flight of stairs okay let's be honest so again really ugh, i don't exactly know what they're so bent out of shape of and it's like okay cool because you had this asshole i even forgot his name right now and it's not really important hopefully he rots in a fucking cell for the rest of his life i don't give a fuck okay crazy motherfucker oh well, my life to have meaning cool well you can be a number now in the system and you'll be very meaningful to the corrections officer that goes on the walk down your cell block that's wonderful terrific fantastic but if you're so concerned about gun control or abortion rights don't worry california will be taking away everybody's guns okay as far as they can when it comes to states rights okay and then also abortions will be on demand up to and including before you can enroll your kid into fucking kindergarten and then still okay even if they're in maryland you take a look at the way that the senate's broke down i know larry hogan's a republican but let's be honest there'll be some sort of fucking abortion available down there virginia the exact same thing most of these places where the fucking protests are taking place you're going to have access to abortion okay it really doesn't much matter okay the places that are kind of silent on all this shit those are the places that might have restrictions on them who really knows actually okay we won't know until the shit gets overturned and we don't even know if the vote on this is going to be happening on monday or not okay that's just when one of the votes happens that's just when the opinion day happens is it going to be done then very likely okay because the draft was from february and normally the way that this stuff goes this is when they collect all their opinions hold their final votes crystallize everything and then just shoot it out from the supreme court okay like a four week old fucking embryo just suck it out and fired it out through the front door but could this be too politically contentious and then they just puss out and kick it down the road for a little while in order to make it an election issue for the fucking midterms, which is just a non-starter for so many people out there? I can see that happening as well. So only time will ultimately tell. But as you can see, there's just like 10 people that are just really upset about this until the next thing comes along where they can, I don't know, protest and carry around coat hangers i don't know just keep that uh, plastic coat hanger handy because eventually it'll be fall again and um you might need a sweater or a scarf in case you get cold at least we know somebody who'll be equipped for that one but whatever good glad uh these dumpy little goofs hanging outside the 
Supreme Court justices' homes. You think that they would be living in nicer places considering how corrupt the federal government is, but whatever, that's all fine. With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.